welcome to my video part two of Smoky Mountains. Thank you for watching the first one if you did. And in this video, we're going to visit a really cool vintage salt and pepper museum in Gatlinburg that has a great story behind it, which you'll hear about. It was also featured on Unwrapped on the Food Network. And we're going to stop by and visit a store in Pittman called Variety and Thrift. And as soon as I walked in the door, I felt like I wish it was mine. I felt right at home and we're going to get to meet Eric, the owner. So I hope you enjoy it. This is an awesome collection of milk glass salt and pepper shakers, which I collect, but some of these I've never seen in my life. They're beautiful. Yeah. Oh, look at the beautiful Delphite ones. Beautiful. Oh, really oh, look at these. Those are gorgeous. Oh, that's that is just amazing. Look at the spice rack over here, like the Dutch. Okay. I like the white. And then the Greek. See, I have some of those up there. See the ones oh, on the yeah. top? Yeah. I have some of those. It's echoing in here. Ah. Oh, the milk glass. This is all transportation. Wow. One way to collect it all. Wow, look at the old cars. And oh, and then look at the little RV little campers. Oh, the Airstream. Yeah, the little Airstream. Amazing. Oh my god, and here's the shuttles. What? Check these guys oh, out. Oh, a space shuttle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. Hey. Humpty Dumpty. Awesome. Wood ones. Look at these things. Look at this stuff. Cast. It's a Pillsbury Doughboy and Girl. Lady Bob. I've never seen salt and pepper shakers in the shapes of a vintage television set before. Amazing. This is amazing. One woman's. That white joint stuff's amazing. Knott's Berry. Knott's Berry Farm? California. Knott's Berry Farms. It's fascinating. It is. It is. It's amazing. It's just so amazing that it's one more person's collection. Look at how the more and salt cans, like when you bought them, how they changed. We can go to Spain and want to see the other There's the woman who owns the collection. Next trip? That's right. We can write that off. Look at the old McDonald's. Oh, there's a lady who owns the collection. Yeah. There's your pictures. Here you go. Look at the rolling pin. Oh, my gosh. These are all beverages. Over there on the side. Oh, yeah. Beer cans with the residential collection. This is one amazing collection. Wow, oh, look at the Penn State. What a wonderful collection. Wow. That is so unique. So, Monroe collection. Marilyn Monroe's Betty Boop. Lipstick nail polish. Man, unique stuff. Never seen nothing like this before. Amazing. This museum of collection is amazing. It's your mother's? It's my, it was my mom's collection. She's been collecting for more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. The main thing she admires is how creative people can be about coming up with so many different shapes of salt and pepper. Um, and uh, just follow the arrows. It takes you all the way around. That's amazing. It's just a wonderful place. Yeah. I've we also have another museum anymore. in Spain, which you see is only a third of the collection. Wow. Uh, we have another museum in Spain with another 20,000. and. Uh, she was working on the third museum, so we have another 20,000 in storage, but we're not going to it. So. Well, I highly recommend <laughs> everybody coming here. It's I know, amazing. but we do rotate things around, so you know, you can always come back and see two different yeah. things. So. I like your reproductions of Rubenchio and the bicycle. Yeah. Oh, but 
should I buy? I have Elvis. Salt and pepper lunchbox. Looks like a suitcase, maybe. Welcome to Vegas. So the Salt and Pepper Shaker Museum in Gatlinsburg, Tennessee was amazing. We didn't do any thrifting there, but we did see a lot of vintage things and I hope everybody enjoyed it. I know I did. And I was able to pick up this reproduction jadeite salt cellar. So we did get something. If you're ever here, stop by. Highly recommend it. old insulators. I used to collect them as a kid and I was thinking about starting to collect them again. is really cool. If I had a store, it would look exactly like this. Everything in it is vintage and perfect. I would die to have this collection of Pyrex. It's awesome. The Gooseberry, the first pattern they made along with the, the Amish butter print. I just started collecting these. Hi, we're in Pittman with Eric. He's got the Nicest store I've ever oh, seen. Thank you. Um, it is right outside of Gatlinburg. It is. We're we're the smallest town in Tennessee. Um, it was incorporated back in '83, I think, or '89. But just to try to keep the encroachment of Gatlinburg coming this way. So uh, that's why it is kind of remote, like it is, or still looks like that. You know. Wow, that's a great story. It's a beautiful store. I know I haven't said it before, but well, I feel like I'm back in my childhood when I walk in. Well, I often <laughs> tell Don and Brenda I don't think that we're selling things in here. We're selling memories. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's my own. My whole house is vintage because it's comforting to me. You know? It is very yeah, much. It takes so. me we, back. We've always had it around us and and enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of. Uh, Consumed us, but <laughs> yeah. but uh, we do love it too. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm so glad we stopped. Thank you, Eric. Well, nice good to, to meet, meet you, you all. You enjoy yourselves. Thank you. They have lots of milk glass mugs here. These stackable ones. They look like glass bake. Uh, yep. I don't know if you can see the glass bake. Lots of companies made them back in the day. See some butterfly gold. Pyrex, really nice condition milk glass. Oh. Some old Blue Haven saucers. Really nice and retro. Not marked. Really awesome store. Wow, lots of milk glass. Beautiful stuff. There's a hazel atlas crinoline ball. I had a bunch of these. They're in my hazel atlas collection video. It's really nice to see when you don't see them very often. Christmas scene hazel atlas punch ball set. Um, someday I'm going to have me a set of those. Great set of West Bend of copper metal canisters and you know, a three-way dispenser well, actually, for your you know, paper. For back it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great canister set. Grease pot. Ah, the grease pot. That was amazing. If you're ever outside of Gatlinburg and stop by in Pittman. Highway 321. You won't regret it. So that concludes my tour through the Smoky Mountains. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun and I hope to do more videos like this in different places. So thank you once again for stopping by and have a great day and see you soon. Hi, welcome to part two of our Smoky Mountain.
Let me take a picture with these. Oh, this must be the camera. This must be the camera right here. And then you hit that. 